Hello there YouTube, Father Tyler here. I know it's been a while since I've made a, a fuller video, but I'm back. I've just been busy running a parish, but uh, I'm back and I wanna talk about a very important topic today about prayer. Uh, first, I wanna show you something I just picked up today. Uh, this really cool log pillow. I'm here in uh, Washington State, and so very uh, Pacific Northwest. Nice and soft, but I picked this up, thought it was cool. Just thought I'd share that. Uh, but I want to talk about prayer. And particularly, I want to talk about how I, as a priest, pray. Now, I've been thinking about this uh, idea for a video for a really long time, but I've been very hesitant and did a lot of praying and discerning because I wanted to make sure that this was not going to come from a place of pride or selfishness. Uh, so I want to make this very clear before I continue that I'm not making this video to boast in my spiritual life. I am not saying that I am better than you, that I am an expert at prayer, or that I'm holier than you. I'm not trying to shame you and make you feel like, oh my gosh, my prayer life sucks in comparison to this priest. Uh, that's not what I'm doing. The whole reason uh, I decided to make this video is because I've heard from uh, multiple sources that it's a good thing for people to know that their priest prays, but it's also a good thing, I think, for them to know how their priest prays. And so hopefully from this, you can get some inspiration of how you can deepen your own prayer life. Um, and so again, I'm not making this to, to be prideful, to boast in anything I'm doing. I struggle with prayer just like all of you probably, but here are some things that I do. So I wanna talk about four things I do in my prayer spiritual life uh, that really make up the basis of my relationship with God. So firstly, and most importantly, the Eucharist, the Eucharist. Uh, that is the center of my life, obviously as a priest, but just as a Christian, as a Catholic Christian, it's the center of my life. And as the church says, the Eucharist is the source and summit. So hopefully the Eucharist is the summit of your life. And so when I say that the Eucharist is a huge part of my prayer, uh, my spiritual life means that I'm saying mass, I'm celebrating the Eucharist every single day, even on my day off, even on vacations, I am celebrating the Eucharist because I need the grace that comes from receiving our Lord's body and blood. Also, in regards to the Eucharist, this means for me praying before the Eucharist. Uh, you know, some of the most profound encounters with God, the, some of the best prayer moments I've had uh, have come from praying before Jesus in the Eucharistic adoration. So every morning, I start the day with some solid time before the real presence. I'm very blessed to have a little chapel uh, in my rectory where I get to keep the Eucharist. So Eucharistic adoration is a huge part of my prayer life. Now, secondly, number two thing I do, it's called the Liturgy of the Hours or the Divine Office. Liturgy of the Hours is a set of prayers uh, based around the Psalms from the Bible. And the Liturgy of the Hours is compiled in a series of four books like this. This is one of the four books. And this is the official prayer of the church. Uh, official prayer of the church and this is the prayer that uh, clergy priests we are uh, obligated to pray we make a promise at ordination at diacon ordination to pray the liturgy of the hours for the rest of our life and so i have to pray this set of prayers five times a day for the rest of my life but it's such a beautiful prayer and i love the liturgy of the hours because it gives me a rhythm a structure of prayer throughout my day just to know okay i gotta stop and pray this and I lift up this prayer for a particular attention or a particular person. Beautiful prayer. Number three. The third thing that's a part of my prayer life is some sort of devotion. And we have lots of wonderful devotions in our faith, but a rosary, right? To pray a rosary or a divine mercy chaplet. I try to pray a rosary uh, every single day. I try. Not perfect, but I try. Either a rosary or a divine mercy chaplet. And of course, many of the great saints have said, the rosary is one of the most powerful weapons we have in our faith. So pray a rosary, that's what I do. And number four, the number four thing that I do is uh, some sort of uh, ascetical or, or penance, ascetical practice or penance. I, I try to live my day with one mantra in mind. What is one little thing that I can give up for God today? What is one little thing that I can give up, sacrifice, or what is one little thing that I could add on as a challenge for God today? And so I try to live my life as a priest with that little statement, what can I sacrifice? And so maybe it's giving up an extra cup of coffee, 
Uh, maybe it's uh, fasting. Maybe it's praying uh, an extra rosary. Maybe it's uh, something like taking on a cold shower. I've done that before. But what is one little thing that I could sacrifice or add into my life just to stretch my soul for God? Now, again, I'm not saying that I'm an expert. I'm not trying to boast in my prayer life. But I think it's a good thing for people to know that their priest prays and to know a little bit about how their priest prays. So that's my prayer life uh, in a nutshell. There are lots of other things that I do spiritually, but those make up the, the heart. Those four things, right? Eucharist, Liturgy of the Hours, some devotional like a prayer like a rosary and then some little act of sacrifice or penance uh, for God's glory. So I'm praying for you, pray for me and the key to the spiritual life is just the key to prayer, just don't give up, persevere. You can do it, we do it together. God bless.